Hi there, Capricorns. Welcome to your weekly tarot readings. Um, I've got a really big spiritual message uh, coming through for you. And um, I feel like the energy for this week, it's all about re-establishing your foundation. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? Um, I feel like many of you have recently come out of a situation that have been very, very contentious. And I feel like you're looking back at the situation and you're not really blaming circumstances or uh, people or, you know, all the other factors that contributed to that situation. I feel like you're blaming yourself for staying in it for too long, for being complacent, for not um, having, you know, plan A, plan B, plan C, like contingency plans. And I feel like you're vowing to yourself to never put yourself in that situation where you don't have other options, where you don't have, you know, contingency plans. And um, so what I'm feeling is as you come out and emerge from that situation, where in this present time frame where you are really, really conscious about what you're building, who you're building it with, and whether or not there are backup plans in case what you really want to go for doesn't pan out the way that you hope. Is there a plan B? Is there a plan C? So it's a lot about strategizing. It's also a lot about, you know, um, taking a route that you have not taken before in the past or trying to push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone so that you can have a lot more so that a lot more possibilities can open up for you. Um, I feel like for many of you, in your present work environment, you have a lot of support, okay? You have a lot of support. People see you as somebody that can work magic. People see you as someone who's very capable, very willing to help people, and you have this really strong calmness about you where when people are angry, irate, irrational, or emotionally worked up, you have the ability to really calm them. You have the ability to really um, make sense of a situation for another person. So I feel like a lot of people flock to you because of your ability to resolve issues and your ability to remain very, very calm and center and grounded amidst a sea of, you know, uh, turbulent. So I, I feel like people really admire you and respect you for that. I have in your work environment an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody that is that really has your back. Okay, so this is the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Arising. This is somebody who is very established. They're very financially stable. Um, there's a lot of communication between you and this person, and I feel like a lot of communication behind closed doors, behind the scenes, where they're really listening to your counsel, and likewise, you're also listening to their counsel. This is somebody who is a really good person to have on your side. They will vouch for you, they will put in a good word for you, they trust your work ethics, and they really, really admire you. And I feel like for many of you, this is sort of like, I'm hearing the word like partner in crime, where the two of you think alike and the two of you um, might have the same issues with the same person or the same people in the same uh, work environment. And so you understand where one another is coming from. And I feel like this is somebody that you can really bounce ideas off of and they will cover for you and likewise you cover for them. Um, to prevent, you know, getting in trouble and things like that from higher up. So this is someone who's really, really seeing you in a very positive light. And um, allying with them or partnering up with them in some way, I feel like would be very crucial and very beneficial for you. Um, I'm also sensing as well, there has been some turbulence in the home environment in relationship fronts. Um, when I was shuffling this out, I got the message, you know, Contact your dad, see if he's okay, see if he's um, like emotionally, physically, see if there are any health issues associated with that because that's what I'm, I'm also seeing. 
I'm also seeing as well um, health issues with parents in general and in particular fathers. Um, if somebody's dealing with some strains or some sprains or, or fractures or, or things like that, okay? Um, I feel as, as though some of you are coming into, you know, this, this month in particular, all of November, and um, you're kind of thinking like, what have I done with my life this past year? What have I, um, what have I built towards? What do I have to show for myself? And I feel like as a sign that is very, you know, practical, that is very results oriented, you want to have something like in your hands to, to show for yourself. What have I done with my time? What have I done with my work? What have I done for myself this past year? Have I been able to build up a legacy for myself? Or have I just been going with the flow? And I feel for some of you, there was a situation here where you wanted things to improve. You wanted some type of financial payout. You wanted things to culminate and come to fruition. And I feel like you were left kind of out in the cold. And I also feel um, in terms of relationships, um, somebody left a sour taste in your mouth. You know, somebody like uh, made promises, somebody um, t over and over and over again, you wanted to fix the situation with the other person. You wanted to stay in that relationship. You wanted to, you know, really uh, try to make it work. And you felt that if you put, a, put in the effort, if you put in the work, then of course it's going to work out. But I feel the other person was not willing. The other person was not willing to put in, you know, the, the 50% in order to meet you halfway. And then also the other person, I'm sensing that they're on their way out. They're looking at other options. They're looking to see what else is available for them. So there's a big realization coming in when it comes to, you know, relationships in general, where you're starting to take off those you know rose colored glasses and seeing the situation for what it is that perhaps you or the other person um were not willing to build anymore okay so, so i feel like somebody is not really willing to build on things i have here the seven of pentacles and it's in the reverse which indicates to me the way the the cards is depicted waiting for some type of a payout, waiting for situations to uh, get better and waiting for the harvest. A harvest where two people committed a lot of time, energy to build things up. And as a result of it, I just feel almost like this, this sense of finality uh, in relationships, facing up to the truth, calling things out for what it is, facing up to the truth, calling things out for what it is. I do sense as well for some of you who are business owners, who are, um, you might be a business owner, your spouse might be a business owner. I feel like there's some um, shady behind the scenes business deal where there is a financial loss, okay? So this could be you as a business owner or a partner as a business owner, and there's some financial loss and the two of you might have joint finances together. And as a result of it, one person's financial loss affects the other person because of joint financial arrangements. So there's that element coming into the picture as well. I see somebody being passed over for like a job application, um, a promotion. And I feel like this could be a spouse. This could be a partner. This could also be... Um, a love interest and you're going to be hearing about it i don't see it happening to you guys i feel like it's somebody around you where they're being passed up for a promotion where they're being um overlooked in a situation and i'm also sensing as well um for those of you who have you know started dating new people um i do feel here an opportunity for you to have uh, new connections, meet new people, establish new connections with people that are a lot more in alignment with you. I see a lot of opportunities for socializing as well, um, but I feel like you're a little bit more reserved this week. You are keeping your energy a little bit more on the um, 
self-contained front okay so you're talking more about work about politics about things that are a little bit more i, I want to say like that that are less personal so you're talking about you know broader issues broader ideas and you're not really um trying to get to know the other person on a deep emotional level because i feel like you're not ready for that so for those who are out and about uh socializing and mingling especially if you have uh, recently broken up with a significant other i feel like you're taking it easy you're looking for more light-hearted relationships and you're looking for more like uh, more conversations that deal with broader themes rather than getting to know somebody on a personal level and that's fine if you're not ready for it you're not ready for it um, I'm also feeling as well there's a lot of back and forth types of communication and so be very clear about your expectations and be very clear about asking other people what do you expect from me so uh, mercury goes into retrograde i believe on the 17th of this month and um, you know this reading is going to continue until roughly the 18th so communication is going to be very very um, important and I, I feel like you know if you're working on projects somebody has a different idea of how they want it to look and you have to really ask them you know and then uh, re reiterate so let me just be clear let me summarize what it is that you're expecting from me so that you can you both are on the same page I, I don't feel like it's your communication somebody is telling you what they want done but they might say it in a very hasty manner and they're not being very detail oriented with everything that they want done and then when you submit your final product they're like wait a minute you left this out but they never mentioned that to you so taking the time to re-emphasize, taking the time to also summarize what it is that they've just said to you allows for them an opportunity to slow down and to also go over it with you, but to also jog their memories as to things that they have left out. It's going to save you a lot of um, trouble in the long run. Um, I'm feeling... On the career front, there's going to be some really, really good news. So uh, career-wise, and that's why I mentioned if it's like somebody being overlooked for a promotion or passed over for a promotion or pay increase or something like that, I feel like it's somebody around you. So professionally, things are really, really, really good. I also feel like there might be some people that you really get along with in your work environment who might be leaving. So they're moving on to bigger, better things. And I, I also feel like at this point in your life, you're also making plans for yourself, you know, coming up with like other options that might be available for you if you also choose to venture elsewhere and, and to move away. You have a really strong connection with somebody in the professional uh, environment. It could be a supervisor. It could be a coworker. It could be somebody that you're, you've been uh, working in close proximity with. And I feel like the, the trust, there's like mutual trust, mutual respect. If they are leaving the work environment, I feel like it's going to leave that little, you know, that, that, that vacuum. And so for some of you, I feel like their leaving might signal to you that, you know, things are changing. The times have changed. Am I still content staying where I am? Or should I also look elsewhere? Should I also implement a move? Should I also follow in their footsteps? So I feel that energy coming in where it's like things are not the same anymore. Things have changed. And I'm ready to make a move. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to change location. I'm ready to do something brand new. And I'm ready to try something new. So there's a lot of... Um, this I, I see this inner restlessness with many of you and I feel like you know a lot of the times we stay in situations too because of co-workers because we've known them for so long because we also feel like it, it's familiar it's comfortable but to what extent do those things that are familiar, that are comfortable, um, interfere with our growth, right? So I feel like you're at a point this week. You've been thinking about this for many months, I feel. 
but this is the week where we come out of Venus retrograde, we jump right into Mercury retrograde, and it does stir up some things that we've suppressed, okay? It, it brings information, mental processes, ideas, and things that we try to sweep under the rug. You know, what's not really working? Let's not uh, delude ourselves into thinking if we work at it, it's going to get better. What's not really working? And how can we arrive at a solution to make the situation better? And I feel like for many of you, you know, since the month of January, um, after your birthday time, you're also sitting there wondering, what do I want to accomplish this year? And then as we close out the year, have I been able to achieve everything that I wanted to achieve? Some of you have checklists and you have successfully achieved those things. And I feel like in particular six things, if you have a checklist of 10 items for self-improvement, these are the things I want to accomplish for this year. You've successfully accomplished six of them. And the other four, you feel like your current environment is not really conducive for allowing you, you know, that opportunity for growth. Okay. So you're ready to step out. You're ready to make a, a big change. And I feel like you're still in the, the phase where you are trying to create these new routes, new paths for yourself, but you're not ready yet just to, you know, walk down that step. You're still in the formulation uh, formulating stages, you're not at a point where you want to venture out just yet. Um, I do feel as well, you know, once again, the, the message regarding parental figures, in particular your father, um, try to move on ahead. Um, I'm also sensing big plans, big trips taken with a significant other as well. And I feel like they are throwing you a bunch of ideas. They're throwing you a bunch of like, um, um, let's go here, let's go there. And I feel like you want to spend the holidays with with family. You want to stay put, but they might not get along with their family members. And so they might not want to stay put. They want to, you know, venture out. They want to explore. They want to travel and they want to just, you know, bring you along. So there is a, a little bit of an inner conflict regarding what you want to do versus what they want to do. But either way, there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of plans being hatched between you and a significant other. So Capricorns, I'm going to leave it at that. Contact your parents, um, see how they're doing. Okay. You have a lot of support coming in the work environment, so I'm not too worried about you. Um, but I feel like times are changing and you want to make sure if this is not the place you want to be anymore, you know, start looking. Okay. Don't procrastinate on this. Don't delay it any uh, longer. And especially don't tell yourself that like, if I keep working at it, it's going to change. It's going to get better. I, I don't feel that it's going to get better. That inner restlessness is going to become a lot more pronounced until you're ready to make that move. Okay. Um, I wish you all the best. I'll be back next week. Okay. Take care.